This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 4th of April. James Spann here. Weather looking unsettled for the next couple of days. A nice Easter weekend and kind of chilly next week. Yeah, let's uh, take a look here. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots around the network at the insane hour of 5 a.m. And speaking of insane, who is shopping at 5 o'clock? Well, those people are. That's our trustful sky cam. Uh, it's got cloudy, but uh, no rain across most of this part of Alabama this morning. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse and way down south. That's the Sky Cam at Daphne on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay. Goodness, that upper low kicked up a fuss in Texas yesterday. About a dozen tornadoes around Dallas-Fort Worth. Very fortunate there were no fatalities in uh, that tornado outbreak. And this morning, uh, convection continues over Mississippi, parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, Back behind that upper low, it was cold in Denver. They stayed in the 30s all day yesterday. But, of course, we are in that warm air over much of the eastern half of the nation. We'll stay in it uh, today and tomorrow. There's a peek at the uh, radar early this morning, a bit after 5 o'clock. That's the Jackson radar. Big rains falling over uh, much of uh, southwest Mississippi and Louisiana. Heavier storms uh, between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. And at the moment, it uh, looks like no... Uh, Warning's in effect down there. That's the watch warning map. And again, things are pretty quiet now. But later today, we've got the standard slight risk of severe weather for much of Alabama and points north and west. Also a small slight risk over on the uh, middle Atlantic coast. Main threats would be from hail and strong winds. The tornado threat, nothing like what they had in Dallas yesterday. And tomorrow, a standard slight risk over much of Alabama, basically the southern two-thirds of the state from about Birmingham south. And again, the storms could pack a punch with hail and strong winds. The tornado threat seems low. There's the rain for the next five days, valid through the weekend through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock, suggesting rain amounts of about one inch. Some spots could see more easily. I mean, I think one to two inches would probably be better to say, and we'll just see how the convection lines up in coming days this is the gfs the oz run valid at one o'clock today there's the upper low sitting over the panhandles of texas and oklahoma down below that showers and thunderstorms will likely move in here or develop later today and tonight tomorrow the upper feature moves to about memphis and we stay wet with showers and strong storms likely and again i think rain amounts of about one to two inches would seem likely in through here and then for Good Friday, look at that rain moving out. Improving weather, the sky becoming partly sunny to mostly sunny, and just a very small chance of a shower. Quite frankly, I think the day will be dry. We can probably take out that slight chance. And, yeah, we turn cooler, the high right around 71 based on the new GFS. And what a great weekend coming up. That's just gorgeous. Saturday will be picture perfect. A cool morning will start the day in the 40s. The high should be in the mid-70s. And pretty much the same thing on Easter Sunday. Cool and crisp early in the day. High Sunday should be in the upper 70s with a bright sunny sky. Just gorgeous. All right, next week, some evidence of moisture trying to creep in here Monday with a weak front. We might mention the chance of a shower Monday or Monday night. And ooh, look at this trough on Tuesday. Hey, hey. Down below that, uh, you can see cold air advection. The uh, 540 line down to Nashville. The GFS is printing a high of 67. Might be cooler than that. And uh, just for the fun of it, we'll check the European, and it's uh, very similar. This is actually Monday night at midnight. It's got the 540 line almost down to Chattanooga. And uh, that will set the stage for a very uh, cool day on Tuesday. So... Highs in the 60s, and then uh, Wednesday, that will be the morning to watch. Uh, uh, Wednesday morning, we could easily see a low in the 30s with a chance of frost, and, you know, it's very early. This is a week out, so trying to define, you know, if we're going to see a freeze for the colder spots, um, not out of the question. Obviously, it's not going to be a widespread killing-type freeze with Thickness setups like that, but still, uh, just growers, watch out for Wednesday morning of next week. All right, let's check the end of the forecast on the 19th of April. Pretty sharp trough to the west of the state. That could be pretty stormy if that's right, but then again, this is April. It should be stormy this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. 
AlabamaWX.com. Uh, the next video posted uh, by 3.30 or so this afternoon. And don't forget to watch us on the news, ABC 3340 on the live stream or on the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.